Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here. Today's video is going to be another five day challenge where I'm gonna be telling you guys the truth about an eyeshadow palette that is new on the market or something that I have in my collection. And this week we are going to be diving into the retro from Natasha Denona. I am going to be doing five different looks on five consecutive days, unless there's a new release that comes out and I have to take a break. But I am gonna be doing five consecutive days having to use the retro no matter what the circumstance is, if I have to film a fashion video, if I have to do something else, I still need to use the retro palette. Sometimes for me, it's a little bit more difficult because if I'm filming a video that has to do with fashion, I don't know what colors I'm gonna be putting on like my body. I don't know if I'm gonna be putting on pink or yellow or green. So trying to plan looks using specific palettes can sometimes be difficult. So I'm gonna be putting myself in a bunch of different predicaments and having to use the retro, making it work for me and giving you guys my thoughts on the palette and give you guys the truth, the details, how does it work on an everyday basis, what is, what's missing from it, the quality, all of that good stuff is going to be in this video. If you guys were following along with me on Instagram at Christina Brooke Beauty, please don't forget to follow me over there because I'm gonna be announcing my five day challenges over on Instagram so that you guys can start playing along. If you guys were following me on Instagram, then you guys know that I announced that I would be doing the retro and I asked you guys if you wanted to join me on the challenge and and take your retro out of your drawer and use it for five days straight to go ahead and start. I wanna know from you guys down below if anybody did that. If you guys did it, what were your thoughts? Right now, stop the video and write what your thoughts were in the comment section, tell your friends, and then you guys can see what I was thinking at the end and see if we had any similar thoughts. I hope that this is a way that will make us all familiarize ourselves more with our makeup and maybe appreciate some of our palettes that we buy and we have sitting there force us to use them, force us to get to know them, and maybe fall in love with them. But either way, today's baby is the retro. We're gonna be doing this for five days, and Halloween does fall into my five-day challenge, which will be a surprise for you guys. And yeah, this is a $65 palette that released from Natasha this year, and it is based off of her mini retro palette. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe, join the family. I love to talk about makeup. I also like to do some variety on the channel and throw in some fashion and give you guys some different stuff on your timeline. So if you like that, join the family. Let's go ahead, let's get into retro right now. All right guys, so we are on to another five day challenge. I am so excited for this one. So I'm sure you guys saw this in the intro already, but it's retro. We're gonna go ahead and take this guy for our test drive five consecutive days of only using this palette no matter what the circumstance is, I need to use the retro palette. So that is what we're doing and actually day one is going to be interesting because today I'm actually filming a fashion video and then I'm in between filming something that has to do with makeup but I'm not sure. Based off of the color palette that I see over there, I could do maroon but I think I'm gonna save maroon for my next video because I have this really cool look that I really wanna do. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I'll, I'll probably do that look for my Sephora sale video maybe. Anyway, so let's go ahead and let's start this one. So this is going to be the way that you can use this a little bit more neutral. So what I'm gonna do is grab this color called Andy and I'm gonna put that up on the crease towards the top of the lid towards the top of the eyebrow. If you guys have seen my videos before, you know I have smaller hooded eyes. I need to get really close to the eyebrow in order for the pop shade to show up. Otherwise, you won't see it. <laughs> my eyes will eat the color. That's a really pretty, like, cool toned purpley shade. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the color Apart, Opart. I always call it the wrong color. And I'm gonna just kinda like dab it here. Is that what I wanna do? I guess it is. <laughs> Even if I didn't, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm using mostly rougher brushes. Um, this one here is a rougher 14. This is what I'm gonna use for this part. It's a little bit skinnier, so I can kind of like get right in there. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of like a halo. I really love this color. It's such a beautiful, like, cool tone, brown with a little gray in it. I think it's just a gorgeous shade. I'm gonna add it a little bit towards the inner portion as well. I think I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I'm gonna use the Ruffer 13. So, I usually use Ruffer. I've been using Ruffer brushes since they sent them to me. I really like them. I am an affiliate with them. I do have a link 
in the bio if you guys are interested in any of the brushes I will put my favorite ones that I'm using in the description box and yeah they really they're amazing who would have thought this color looks really nice for a halo now I'm gonna grab color Jude and I'm gonna put that in the center Look how pretty, I like this. Ooh, that's really cute. I'm gonna bring that on the lower lash line. What I'll do is, yeah, first I'm gonna grab this color. So I'm using for this a rougher 02, and I'm gonna kind of just like bring that on the lower lash line. Cool. And then, with that other brush we were using before, the Ruffer 13. I'm gonna grab back into Andy and blend that out. I usually grab my favorite Ruffer 15. This is the big fluffier one. And blend those edges out. I think I wanna bring this Andy color just a little lower. This is when I start doing things that I'm like, it looks so cool, <laughs> but maybe I should have been a little bit more modest for my video for fashion, but I don't care. You know, at, <laughs> into my at the end of the day, you guys know I'm a makeup lover, so uh, yeah. Look at that. Look how beautiful. <gasps> That is so, so pretty. I really like this eye look. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll put on some mascara, some liner, finish off this eye and show you guys the final result of what I came up with for day one. But so far I'm very excited. I really like this look. Okay guys, so here is look number one, day number one of my five day challenge. I'm obsessed with this look. I really, really like it. I would wear this a lot. This is a very typical look for me. It's like one of those looks that can be very awesome for like a date night, but also you could probably wear this like midday. Like I would wear this to the office. It's not like that much, you know? It's actually really, really pretty. And it looks awesome in person. Now for my lips, what I am using is Natasha Denona's lipstick in Sammy with her lip liner in Naya. So of course, everything we use in these videos, I'm gonna have everything linked down below like you guys know, just in case you guys are interested in something else rather than just the retro. But yeah, this is look number one and super easy, super effortless. Right now, the only concern that I'm kind of having is how many different looks am I actually going to be able to create with this palette? Is it gonna be very similar looks every day or is this gonna give me enough variety that I'm going to feel like, wow, I did very different looks every single day. So that's the only thing. I feel like I had enough mattes to blend. I feel like I had a beautiful deepening shade. I love the center lid shade. I felt like everything blended and worked, performed beautifully, like absolutely no complaint on day one. Very excited to complete this challenge because I can't wait to get more use out of this and really challenge myself. But yeah, I'm excited. Day one, a fashion video, typically something a little bit more difficult for me because I like to be more neutral. I don't like to do something that's too colorful because then it can clash with my outfits. I feel like I was able to accomplish something very beautiful that is going to work and still has a lot of pizzazz to it, which is interesting because sometimes these like more simple looks, you feel like, ah, but they're so bland. This isn't bland. This is simple yet very, very intriguing. So I'm excited. Can't wait. So I'll see you guys in day number two. Good morning, guys. So today is day number two on my five day challenge and I am doing a casual day. So today is what I like to call casual Friday. I usually go into the office, don't put on a super amount of, I don't put on a lot of makeup, but I do like to get dressed up because it's like my day out, you know? So what I ended up doing with the eyes, if you could see, I think they came out so pretty, but they're not like, very in your face, you know, which is what I like. I don't like to put very, very strong makeup on on Fridays. So of course we used retro. I'm gonna show you guys the colors that I use. I propped my phone. I might be at an angle. So what I did was I used the color Vivian. So it's this beautiful color right here. And I put that all over the inner portion of the lid to kind of lighten it up. Then I grabbed Amara, which is this one right here, and I blended it into the outer edge to kind of add a little bit of like a V to give me a little bit of deepness on the outer edge. You guys know that's what I love to do with my eyes. 
And then I grabbed a little bit of Helio, which is a beautiful metallic, and just dabbed it right here in the center and blended it into Vivian. And that was all I did for this eye look. I grabbed my Natasha Denona um, brown liner and it did a small, tiny, little, tiny wing, which you probably can't even see that good. Yeah, you could see it here. And then with a pointed brush, I kind of just blended that up so that you could not see it that strong. And then some mascara, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And this is the look. I will say today's look was very, very simple. And I'm very happy to know that I could do these more subtle looks with this palette because I love the burgundy shades and I love these shades on my eyes, especially with brown eyes. But I wasn't sure if it was going to be like very strong even when I wanted to do something more natural. So I'm very happy with the look. I think it came out absolutely stunning. And yeah, I can't wait to wear it today. So day number two, success, very natural looking makeup. And we've got three more days and I just realized that this is going to go into Halloween. So this is gonna be my Halloween palette. I'm gonna to have to do a look with this. So that's gonna be really fun. We'll do something really fun for Halloween. So anyways, I'll see you guys in day number three. All right guys, day number three is here. And um, yesterday was Saturday, I didn't wear makeup. So we skipped yesterday. So today is technically day number three. And well, can you guess what day it is? So today is Halloween and I was not expecting to use retro for Halloween, but I did pick this in between my five day challenge. So um, yeah, I have this on my head. Um, Lexi found this and said she wanted me to be a unicorn today. So my costume, I guess, is gonna be a unicorn. It wasn't really what I was thinking of doing. I wanted to do something like Cruella DeVille, but she wants me to be a unicorn. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. So give me a few minutes and I'll pop back on here as a unicorn. And also, um, if you guys wanna see a little bit more about it, I will have it up on Instagram, at Christina Brooke Beauty. So, wish me luck. And I'm back. Surprise, surprise, here's my hat. And here is my makeup. So yes, I'm supposed to be a unicorn. I don't know if I look 100% like one, but here is my hat. This is my unicorn face. Now I did use the retro for this. I know that this might be like one of those days that you're going Christina, but I can never recreate that Me, look. Cause she's a unicorn. I am a unicorn. But I will tell you guys the interesting thing about using this palette for Halloween and having to only use this palette has made me notice one very, 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 very important thing. A lot of these colors look almost the same because they're all within the same color family. So as I was using it, I was having a hard time creating gradients because as the colors got lighter, the colors turned very similar to my skin tone. So it was something interesting that I did not notice before about this palette that a lot of the colors are actually very close in hue. So basically what I ended up using the most is this color Groove right here because it's the deepest. It's what I contoured my face with and I used it the most. I also use this color Amara and the color Patty a lot. For the eyes, I used Patty on the top and then I used um, Mod right in the inner portion and added a little bit of glitz on top just to give it a little shine. Mod down the center, which is this really white color and the same color Groove down the edges of the nose. But as I wanted to make it look more unicorny, like adding like more colors, I was very limited to using like burgundies and I don't know why I didn't realize it was gonna be like that. So I did use the purple. So I used the purple on my nose. Like it's kind of, I don't know if it's fading or what. She's kind of shocked that I look like a unicorn right now. So now she wants to stay yeah. with me. <laughs> if you have a toddler that wants to hang out with you a lot, just dress like a unicorn. She'll be with you even more. So anyways, so I put this purple on the nose and one good thing is I'll tell you guys a wear time on this makeup because I'm gonna be wearing it on Halloween night. I am going to my mom's house. I will be doing a wear test. I guess I'll try to see how long this lasts. Now I do wanna tell you guys I did cheat a little bit. I used Hutopian Dream for all my glitter. So all this glitter that you guys see here, that amazing glitter is Hutopian Dream in the two purpley colors because I needed something more. I also added some right underneath here where this thing comes out of. But anyways, this was Lexi's idea. She's gonna be a fairy tonight, so we're gonna be mystical creatures with her. 90% of the look is retro, so if you guys can see, it worked. I was able to make it work. Challenge is still going strong. Lexi's eating a gummy bear and wants to be on camera today. So um, I will see you guys later on, but I did accept the challenge and use the makeup and use the retro for Halloween. Good. Right, Lexi, do you like the way this looks? Uh-huh. Do you think I look like a unicorn? Yeah. 
Yeah? Like a lot or a little bit? A lot. <laughs> okay. Lexi approved. I'm good. So I'll see you guys in day number four. And don't forget to subscribe for more mommy videos. Bye! Thank you. She's, she's a promoter. But anyways, I will see you guys in day four and in the check-in. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, guys. So today is actually day number four. So the last time you guys saw me using Retro was on Halloween, and yesterday I had to do the brand new Huda Beauty palette that arrived, and I went running to go get the rose quartz. So I did the rose quartz yesterday, but today we're back. So anytime I have to do a review, I do have to jump into the middle of my five day challenge because I need to get the reviews out for you guys because it's still a functioning channel. I still need to get these reviews out. So today we are continuing with the five day challenge on day number four. And I did tell you guys I was gonna update you on the wear time on the retro during Halloween. By 12 o'clock at night, my makeup was still on. The only place that I kind of lost all the makeup was on the bridge of my nose, which makes sense because you kind of go like this all the time. But like the face makeup, the contour, touring that I did with the retro the eye makeup I did with the retro everything was still really really stuck on my face so that's a really good sign I mean that stuff lasts so I have to say I think the wear time on this is pretty damn good but today I actually have a huge day of filming my coffee and that is because my little darling Lexi has been wanting to film with me lately. She wants to come in the room and she wants to be on camera sometimes and then sometimes she wants to just make noise. And the thing is, is I don't mind like if she comes and everyone said, well, says something, but today's a big day of filming. Today I've got to do my Sephora recommendations. This means I need to really think, you know? So I decided to wake up earlier than her. <laughs> So that hopefully I could start doing my recommendations video. I also have to do an update on one year one brand So I'm gonna film everything today. I'm hoping I can get a lot of this done before she wakes up <laughs> But anyways, so let's jump into retro. So we're gonna do a quick eye look today What I'm gonna just do is a smoky eye that looks really really pretty because I need something cool So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into the color groove and I'm gonna use that on the lid and we're gonna start this with like a real smoky effect I'm gonna try to talk you through this this is a rougher 14 brush it's um one of my favorite brushes from rougher to be honest because it's just so small and my eyes are small so let's re really get in there and get those like little areas that is so hard to get it's actually not that early but my voice might sound a little cracky because this is the first time I've talked today <laughs> and I'm talking to you guys Yay! It did get a little stuck to my concealer. I do have a crease that happens right here So sometimes shadows will kind of get stuck on that crease. It's kind of typical. I always get it So I'm not it's not just the shadow I'm just gonna do one of my eyes and then I'll do the other one off camera so I can work this faster. So This shadow groove I like better than rebellion rebellion is one of her cream to mattes or something like that I forget the name creamy matte and the problem with that is is that it kind of like sticks in place and sometimes for me harder to work with also the color looks deeper in the pan and it comes off more red so today's look i wanted something a little bit more burgundy to do this nice smoky eye so that's why i went into groove even though groove looks like it would be lighter it's actually not it's actually darker so i'm gonna grab andy and let me just add andy to the outer edge and just kind of like bring it up Wow, it's super pigmented, this color. You know, it's kind of one of those creamy shadows as well. So when I put it over the powder, it kind of like dominated the powder a little bit, which is kind of interesting. I didn't realize that. So now I'm gonna go back in with the groove color. Keep that in mind. When you go over the powdery shades with a little bit of that creamy formula, it can kind of take it over. <laughs> so, all right. So now I want to go into this color called Gogo, -Go, which has a little bit like a pinky undertone to it. I want to add that to the top. Closest to the eyebrow. You guys know, close to the eyebrow, short, small, little stubby little eyes. Got to get all the way up to the eyebrow. I'm going to bring a little bit more of Groove up, just a tad bit more. Let's go Gogo -Go underneath the eye. And bring that one as my liner. I'm just gonna add it to the outer edge. I'm not gonna put it all over the lower lash line because I'm gonna put a liner on the top 
And then we'll smoke it out just a tad with my Ruffer 14, this brush that I really like. Let's just smoke it all together. Oh, I love coffee in the morning. Okay, I don't know how people don't drink coffee in the morning. My husband does not drink coffee and I, I don't get it. <laughs> okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna go ahead, do this eye, add some liner and mascara, which is going to elevate this eye look just a tad. And then I'll think about if I wanna add some glitteriness to it using um, glitz. But I kinda wanted to save glitz for tomorrow and doing like a really pretty airy look, but we'll see. Now, let me go ahead and put some liner and mascara, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have the final look. Here we go, nice, pretty, smoky purple eye. I really, really like this. It kinda gives you that burgundy smokiness, but it has a little bit of purple hint to it. So to me, it looks really, really pretty and I'm excited. I don't know if, maybe it won't match. Will it match my shirt too much? Will I have to stay to white? What do you guys think? Uh, I should probably stay to white, right? You can definitely get super dramatic with this eyeshadow palette, which is great. And definitely you're gonna stay within the burgundies is what I've been noticing. And even if you try to get away from a burgundy really eye, you're not gonna get too far from it because everything at the end turns more burgundy. Um, I'm gonna keep on playing. We still got one more day left, but so far I've seen that that is pretty much the outcome. And I think that's because the deepening shades are pretty burgundy. <laughs> Day number four is complete. I'm going to get into my Sephora recommendations video right now. So I'll see you guys in day number five. All right, guys, day number five of my five day challenge. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys one more look. I think I'm going to give you guys tomorrow's look too, because tomorrow's going to be very casual Friday. So I'm going to do a very simple look, but just because Halloween was one of the five days, I think I'm going to just give you a six day just because I guess the Halloween makeup, even though it was fun to show you guys how you can be very creative with makeup, it wasn't really like a makeup look you can do. So I'll do one more tomorrow just to make up for that one. But today what I want to do is something a little bit glitzy with maybe a little bit of, hmm, I'll stick into this area right here that has a little bit more of like that orangey hint to it. And then maybe add a little bit of this color here in the inner portion. I want to do something a little bit airier because today I have a huge fashion video to film. I have a collaboration with Shein where I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of winter coats that they sent me. Such cool coats. And I actually can't wait to film this video. So I've got to go ahead and get my makeup ready. So I think I'm gonna do something fall inspired because this is gonna be a very fallish video or winter, I guess it's more winter. So let's start off with, what have, I haven't really used too much nude mauve. So let's use nude mauve. Let's put that up against the crease very lightly into go go here and i'm gonna add go go right underneath kind of just following my crease i'm gonna use the bristles beauty eo 3 dm brush and i'm gonna grab into amara and i'm gonna put that on the outer v So now I'm gonna grab something a little thinner so that I can grab a little bit of Rebellion, which is not my favorite color in this palette, but I'm gonna add it just to the outer V just to bring up the deepness. Now this color is actually a little bit more red than I would like. It has a cool formula to it. It's just that you need to blend it really, really good. A lot of you guys have told me that what you love about it is that it lasts very long. So that is kind of cool, but it comes off a lot more red than it looks in this pan. Actually, like I've told you, Groove is actually deeper than Rebellion. It's really the color I don't like the most in the palette. So then I'm gonna grab into Go Go one more time. Add that up here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab into Patty and I'm gonna put Patty in the center. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually grab Mod. Let's grab Mod, which is just like a matte whitish color. Let's put that right here. And a little bit more of Patty. You know, Patty kind of, 
Patty kind of disappears a little bit. Like it's it's so subtle that it almost like disappears. It's probably one of the shades that I love the color, but I don't love the formula. So I'm gonna just grab a little bit of Helo Helio and just put it down the Okay. So that kind of fixed it up a little bit. So Patty, in my opinion, is just a little too bland and it kind of dies away with some of these other colors, like that mod color for some reason, it kind of like killed Patty. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, it just killed it. Nude mauve, put that on the lower lash line. So that is what we've got going. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eye eyeliner, do this eye, you guys will see the final look. I did have to work a little bit more than I would have expected on this look just because that Patty color kind of dissipated into my eyelids. So let me go ahead and finish it off. I'll come back on camera and show you guys the final look. Okay guys, final face of makeup. I finally finished off the look. I just used a little bit of my Natasha Denona macro blade to do a cute little tiny winged liner. And then I diffused it a little bit with the color Apart, it's Opart. I just used that to kind of like blend out the line a little bit. I used the Natasha Denona um, macro tech purple eyeliner on the lower lash line and blended it in. L'Oreal Lash Paradise for the mascara. And for my lips, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's Nude Kate and the lip liner from Natasha Denona in the color Naya. So it's actually kind of like a brown lip liner with a very nude lipstick. I feel like this is total 90s vibes and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I felt like doing something 90s. I think I accomplished it with this lip color. I probably wore something like this in high school. <laughs> Love the way that everything finally pulled together. Sometimes eyeshadow needs a little oomph and the oomph can come from eyeliner and mascara. I don't wear fake lashes just because I'm the type of person that I don't like fake lashes on my face. It just, I don't know, my face is too small, lashes are too big. I think my natural lashes look the best. So um, for me, even if I just put on some mascara, I just feel a big difference. Like I just like the way it amps up a look. So this is the final look and I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. It had a little struggle, especially with that color patty. I did have a different vision. I wanted it to go in a gradient of like a real orangey kind of metallic into this color and then get very light in the center and then get very light in the inner corner. But I had to kind of change up that patty color just a tad because it was not as vibrant and, and it kind of died away with Mod. Mod kind of like overpowered it. And then when I tried to put it back on top, just wasn't coming out anymore, it just like disappeared. So Helio is what saved the day and I just put that on top and it covered Mod a little bit and just made the look come together. So I'm very happy with the final look. I think it's very, very beautiful because technically we've finished my five day challenge. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. Tomorrow's look is gonna be something very, very chill. I am gonna use a little bit of this glitzy color. I think I'm gonna do something with glitz and something very light on the outer edge. I'm gonna do something simple tomorrow. But because I've already used every single one of these colors, like I've used every single one, maybe not in all the tutorials that you guys have seen, but in different ways, I have used all of these colors. So I do have some thoughts on this palette. Now I will say that I didn't realize how much burgundy you really get out of this palette and how burgundy most of your looks do turn out. For the majority of your looks, no matter how far you try to stray away from getting like a burgundy looking eye, it always turns burgundy. If not, it'll turn a little bit purpley burgundy, or you can, the only other direction you can do is using Opart and Jude and kind of doing a look like I did in the first tutorial, which I actually think was my favorite look where it was kind of like, just like a grayish brown metallic with a darker brown outer edge. And it didn't really go very burgundy on me because I stuck away from the burgundies. So there really is two different directions that I personally feel like you can go here. You can go like the really cool tone brown direction, but then you've only got like two, three, four, maybe four metallics that you can add to the inner portion to kind of stay away from going very burgundy-ish, you know? So that is something to keep in mind if you do not like for your lids to go into the burgundy-ish direction, not pink. This does not go pink, which I'm happy about. 
Um, a lot of times when you get these like burgundy-ish palettes, what ends up happening is you get very pinky looking lids all the time and you're like, now this is supposed to be burgundy. Why do I keep getting pink lids? This doesn't do that. So I'm happy about that. But I do think it's something to point out because if you're somebody looking at this and you're like, I'm gonna be able to do so many different looks and they're all gonna look completely different from one another, this is not the palette to do that. This palette does give you specific looks. And when you use this, you're going for a specific kind of look. You're really going for those burgundy-ish inspired looks. Now, that being said, I love it. I think it looks very, very beautiful. And I like the way burgundy looks on me. I don't like the way pink looks, but I like burgundy. So I'm happy with that. Do I wish that she would have added a little bit more of like this Jude and Opart type of shades and maybe mixed it in? I do. But because of that, I understand now more why she said that this is a complimentary palette to the Glam Palette. Because if you really think about it, the shades that I wish she added more of are shades that you probably would have seen in the Glam. If you look at Jude and you look at the Glam and you look at Opart and you look at the Glam, you're like, wait a minute, those almost look like they could be in the Glam Palette. And actually they kind of, they're kind of similar to the, they actually are kind of in the Glam Palette. So if I grab, Opart and Jude on this finger. This is Opart and Jude. This is from the Retro. And I grab Lash Line and just for outer and outer eye, you guys can see how they are so similar. So this here is the Glam. <laughs> Can't, why am I not being able to move my pinky? These are the Glams. And then this right here is the Retro. That makes a little bit more sense to me as to why she was saying it's a complimentary palette to the Glam palette. Because those colors really do look really beautiful with the burgundies and also with the brown. So I can see now, I can see more now why you can use these two palettes together and they probably will work very, very beautifully. And I think I'm gonna start doing that. Like I said, I think the colors that I feel like I'm missing are more in the direction of Opart and Jude. And if that's what's in here, then literally these two together will probably be very, very beautiful together. So I'm excited for that. And I'm excited that I have both of those and I can start playing with them together. And I think that I'll be able to create even more variety of looks. But So if you're somebody who's only looking at the retro, you have no interest in picking up the glam, you are limited to the type of looks that you are going to create. If you guys saw in today's video, I was trying to do different things, but if you guys can see, most of them did end up with like almost the same color story because this palette in itself, if you really, really look at it, does not have that much variation in color. And then when it comes to formulas in here, the formulas are beautiful, but I do want to point out there's two shades in here I do not really love. I do not really love Patty at all. I was hoping for something more from it. I have used it in the past, but I had never used it like blending with a matte. I just had kind of like put it on the lid and I didn't mind it that way. But when you start to blend it with some of these mattes, the mattes are so overpowering and Patty is so dull that it kind of takes away. Like it literally eats away at Patty. And then when you try to like put it back on top, it's just too dull. It just doesn't look good anymore. So. Patty, in my opinion, is just one of those shades if you're going for like an everyday look and you just wanna put one shade all over the lid, Patty's a good color for that because it doesn't have that much shine to it. In my opinion, it's almost like a matte shimmer hybrid. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's not like super metallic and then it's definitely not matte, but it doesn't have that much shine. So it's just kind of like bland, but it does work as an all over lid shade. And I'm sure it'll look really pretty like that for, you know, just like a very casual, easy to do look. But if you try to mix it with this stuff, it's probably my least favorite shade. Color I do like, I do like the color. Wish it had a little bit more oomph to it. I don't really like Rebellion. Now I do know some people really like this shade because they're saying that it lasts long and it's that cream, Is it? it's like that creamy matte, I think it's what she calls it, formula. It's harder to blend out because it's such a rich, deep shade, when you put it down, it kind of sticks to where you put it and you just gotta sit there and work to blend it out. And then it does, it blends out. I do think that this formula is a lot better than the one that she gave us in Metropolis, but I do think that because it's such a rich tone, it's a little harder to work with. So just keep that in mind. This one also comes off very red. It looks burgundy, but when you put on your lids, it looks very red. I don't like that. I wish it was more true to the color in the pan. This color here actually gives me more burgundy effect. That's why I like grabbing for this one more. So I only use this like to kind of just enhance 
the outer V a little bit, but I don't like to put it all the way down because it gets very red. I'm actually more happy now that there's this color mod in here. It makes more sense to me now playing with all these looks because I love the gradient that it gives and it's so stark. Oh my goodness, this color is actually pretty damn amazing. Didn't even think that I would like a whitish pink so much, but I love this because it's so stark. It gives so much pigmentation and it's like, it's really good, it's really good. But I would not use this as a blending shade. Don't use this as a blending shade, it's too, it's too white, you know? Um, Vivian's a great blending shade. I really like Vivian. Jude is one of the most beautiful colors in here. I love Jude, I love Psychedelic, I love Glitz. All three of these are beautiful shades. Opart is probably my favorite deepening shade in here. It's so pretty. It has that creamy matte formula again, or matte to creamy, whatever it's called. It's that same formula, but it blends better because it's a little lighter, and I really, really love that one. Amara, really like it, blended beautiful. It's a little bit orangey burgundy and I used it today, I think it looks great. But other than that, like if you guys can see, a majority of these colors, I really, really love them. Swing is also kind of cool. It's a little bit more of a purple shade. It's probably the most purple in this palette. On Halloween, I actually used that all over my nose and it did come off really quickly off my nose, but then again, it was my nose. And it's a cool color. I'm happy that she put something a little different in here if you wanna make the looks go a little bit more purple. And I do think it's a pretty one. It is not that high shine, but it has nice pigmentation. So it's also really good. Overall, I have to say, I really like this palette. I do, but I like the color story. And like I said, I also own Glam and I'm excited to mix them together. I'm actually thinking that I am going to recommend this during my Sephora VIB sale recommendations video because I do feel like there's a strong audience out there that really likes like burgundy. And I like this more than I like the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude. So definitely wanna also point out the wear time I think is very good on this palette. I feel like it every day that I used it, my makeup looked pretty damn good by the end of the night. And like I said, five consecutive days, also Halloween where I was sweating, I was doing a lot of stuff and my makeup still held up really, really nicely. So I really think the quality on here is beautiful. The formulas are really nice and I just really like the palette. This palette did not look like what I thought the retro would look like in my mind. I was thinking greens. I think a lot of you guys were thinking like me that this was gonna look more like the mini retro or go in that direction and she was gonna give us some greens and stuff. But she has said that she is going to make a second retro. So next year there's another retro coming out like retro part two and retro part two she's already said is going to be green and is going to play more off of the mini retro. So we already know that. We know that that's coming. So I'm happy that she listened to us, but the truth is I really wish this first one would have been that green palette everybody was waiting for, you know, and this one would have been the second one but that's not the way it turned out, but I'm still very excited for the next retro. And I'm actually thinking it would be very cool if she made them all work together. So if this green palette would also be able to work really good with glam and also really good with retro, I think that would be super cool. Because like I'm saying, like I really think these all play really nicely together. So let's go ahead and get into the last day. Day number six. So this is my bonus day. So I am doing a very casual day today. It's Friday, so you guys can see my eye look. Super, 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 like, not very in your face. It's very calm. So what I did was I used the color Vivian all over the lid. Then I just grabbed a little bit of Amara, smoked out the outer edge very lightly because I didn't want that much makeup. And then I used Glitz all in the inner portion of the lid, and that was it. I put on some brown Natasha Denona liner smoked it a little bit in the edge, I don't know if you can see, and then just put on some mascara. So you could definitely do very, you know, not very um, bright looks with this palette, but it also went very light, burgundy, a little bit pink today. So definitely, for sure, every look that you create, 90% of them go towards that spectrum. It's not shocking to me since you look at the palette and you can kind of see that, yeah, I mean like most of the colors in here are burgundy-ish. But, you know, it did go a little bit more on that side than expected for me. I thought that there was going to be a little bit of a difference. But I think the, the issue with that is that there's just really no brown or a color that like really stands out different besides a part, which will change your look a little bit. But it's so deep, like on a normal day like today, I didn't want to use that to smoke my outer edge. So I just wish there was maybe one more color in here. Maybe instead of... Groove and Rebellion, maybe Rebellion would have been gone. 
and I could have gotten something in a chocolate brown maybe like a light brown that was more cool tone didn't have too much red in it so it could have switched my look a little bit I think I would have been a little bit more excited with the looks I can create with this but like I said do really really like the palette I think that if you know what you're getting into you're going to love this if you think you're going to be able to create like a super versatile amount of looks you might be a little let down by it but like for me I don't really have a real burgundy palette that I really love so this will be that palette because it really has amazing formulas so anyways day number six bonus day like I said was going to be very casual so yeah that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed my five day challenge, extra six day of the retro. And let me know down below right now, what palette you guys want me to do my next five day challenge of. Start telling me right now and we will start our five day challenge soon. Follow me over on Instagram to see when I announce it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.